Okay, good evening, everybody. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, can you listen? Yes. 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 Okay, we're going to start um, with the homework. Okay, we're going to check in the homework. So for that, you are going to to write the sentences. Well, first, let me remember remember you what was the homework about. Okay. Remember that you have to change the the verbs that we have here. So I'm going to say a name and you are going to tell me uh, send, uh, you are going to write on the chat here on Zoom the uh, how the conversion of the verb has to be. Okay, ¿Cómo nos quedaría ya el verbo? con eh, utilizando eh, las el suffix que corresponde el sufijo correspondiente de acuerdo a las reglas que vimos el día de ayer. So for example, if I say, uh, Jose Ovidio, you are going to do. Te okay. So you are going to type on the chat the verb with the, the word with the change yes con el suffix yes. no okay anabel number two mario antonio number three okay yes jose video Okay, yes, Anabel. Okay, Mario number three, Álvaro Moises number four. But try to do it quickly. Okay, Mario and Álvaro, I'm waiting for your answers. Okay. Yes, Mario. Okay, Álvaro, number four. Alison, number five. Erika, number six. Okay, excellent, yes. Yes, correct. Okay, Alba number seven. Veronica number eight. Audelia number nine.
Excellent. Yes, Otelia. Okay. Alba. Yes, fixes. Okay, Verónica, el suyo es el eight. Okay, number 10 sería para Araceli. Lourdes, 11. María Belén, 12. Yes, correct. ¿Cómo? Y number 12, María Belén. Ah, oh, no. 11, perdón. So, 12, que lo urdes. Yes, teacher. Que 13, Natalie. Carla Noemí, 14. Okay. okay. Are you sure with with number eight fry? You need to change the why, Veronica. Look at the rule that we have here. Verbs ending in consonant plus Y. You have to change the Y for an I and then add the ES. Okay, let's continue with Karen Alejandra, number 15. Dina, 16. Okay. Okay. Number Okay, ya no avanzamos con el sixteen. Dina. Ahí está Carrie. Uh -huh. 16 stay. Seventeen Davis. Correct. 
Jose Guillermo, 18. Excellent, David. Margarita, 19. Okay, yes. Mauricio, 20. Pamela, 21. Okay, smashes, correct. Okay, loves. Jocelyn, 22. Le tocaría hacer el verbo número 22, Jocelyn. Ok, Pamela Riches, ok. Y Dalma, 23. Eric, 24. Hurry up. Ok, no pasamos del 22. Vamos a ver. Ok, Eric. Ok, in the case of obey, sería la excepción que tenemos aquí arriba, que dice vowel before y. Ok, we only have to add the s. Porque antes de la Y tenemos una E. Entonces, en este caso, la regla sería la que está aquí arribita. La que dice vowel before Y. You only have to add the X. Ok, remember, if, if we have... If we have a Y and before we have a consonant, yes. Vamos a utilizar la de I y S. Uh -huh. Yes, correct. Okay, 25. Marlon, yes, David. Este, con la que es stay, igual sería stay, se le agrega la S. Stay. Yes. Stay. Okay. And then we have. Well, a stop, Lorena. ¿O quién me falta de pasar? A ver. Okay, Marys. Yes, correct. Tenemos C, number 27. Volunteers for the last four, 27, 28. Okay, leaves, correct. 30. Okay, what about drive and scratch? Drives, correct, drives. 
and scratch. No se hace falta. Si termina en ch. Ok. Um, sería only es scratch sería la última la última la última regla verbs ending in o sh, ch, scratch aquí entraría so, yes scratches yes así sería yes Alba y con la número 26 que es stop, ¿cómo sería? ¿O con S? Yes, con, con S. Stop. Ah, ok. Stops. Thank you. Ok, questions uh, about this part. It's clear. No, no questions. No questions. Okay, now we can move to the examples. Podemos hacer los ejemplos entonces. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, let's listen to your examples. What examples do you have? Give me your sentences, at least one sentence. Using the verbs that we already change. My sister works at the hospital. Okay, yes. He's, he drinks water. He drinks water. Yes. Okay. I am at the pool. In the again, pool. again, please. She swim in the pool. She swims. She swims. swims. Okay, ahí podemos añadir un marcador, ¿verdad? She swims in the pool. Every Friday, for example. Okay. Another example. No. I speak slowly. Again, please, Jose Ovidio. I speak slowly. Okay. Si voy a usar I... No vamos a, no necesitamos modificar el, el adjetivo, el verbo. Así que podemos dejar este, el verbo sin modificarlo o podemos cambiar el, el pronombre. Oh, so you speak. Sería. You speak slowly. Tiene que ser he, she. He or she? He, he speaks slowly. No. Okay. Yes. Okay, Mauricio. She rooms in the park every day. Okay. Excellent. Good example. Karen? She drives very well today. She drives very well. Okay. Today. Every day. Mario? She copies the class in the here notebook. She copies the class in here cop in here notebook. Okay, she cop copies. Okay. The class. Sería she writes. En este caso, she writes the class on her notebook. Okay. In her. On her okay. notebook. 
Okay. Anabel. She likes coffee in the morning. She likes to drink. She likes to drink coffee in the morning. Okay. Davis. She thinks in the bar every night. Okay. Excellent. Okay, good examples. Great job. The questions about this part? Yes, me imagino que por la lluvia va a estar el internet un poquito inestable. Ok, así que me imagino que, que van a tener en cuenta eso cuando se les cuente lo de los minutos. Con respecto a la asistencia, como les había comentado el día de ayer, se está tomando por medio de, de Zoom, por lo que eh, se les hizo el recordatorio que al ingresar tienen que ingresar con nombre completo. ¿Ok? Para que eh, coincida con los reportes que, que tienen de ustedes. Ok, so let's move to the next part. Teacher, un favor. Yes. ¿Será posible que, no, que nos pueda compartir esas, um, eh, el folleto de, del manual de, de trabajo? Así lo imprimimos y lo tenemos. ¿Será Ese posible? Lo, lo tienen en la plataforma. Lo eh, he tratado de bajar y no me deja, no puedo bajarlo, por eso he pedido ayuda, pero me dijeron lo mismo, que lo bajara en la plataforma y no lo, logro, no, no lo he logrado hacer. Déjeme ver porque vi que lo enviaron en un grupo. Quiero ver si lo tengo por ah. aquí. Que okay. I don't know if was in this or Ya se los comparto, ahorita los estoy descargando. Gracias. Ok, let's do the first exercise that we have on the platform. I know you already did, but we are going to check. Ok, ahí está. Gracias. Ok. Okay, we are going to complete the sentences with the correct verb forms. Okay, conversation one. My family and I, okay, live or lives in the suburbs. Live. 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 Okay, live. because it's plural. My wife and I works or work. Near here. Work. 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 So we walk or walk to work. Walk. 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 For daughter. Works or work downtown. Works. Work. 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 Correct. So she drive or drives. 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 Or son don't or doesn't drive. Doesn't. Doesn't. Doesn't drive. Doesn't work. He Rides or ride? Rides. 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 Okay, conversation. My parents lives or live? Live. 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 
Sí. My mother takes or takes. Takes. Take, take. Take. Takes a train to work. My father is retired, so he doesn't or don't work. Doesn't. doesn't. Okay, doesn't work now. He also use or uses. 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 Public transportation. So they don't or doesn't. Don't. Don't. Don't need a car. Okay. So here are the answers. Remember, you have to complete section one and two for this week. Yes, teacher. Okay, questions? No question. Okay. So let's move. Then we have, uh, well, we have three irregular verbs that we, the, um, are the most useful. Okay, son como los más usados. Eh, que de acuerdo a lo, a, lo, a lo que vieron en el video, cuáles eran esos, esos irregular verbs, los, como los, los más importantes o los más utilizados. Have, do y go. Which one? Have. 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 have do. Do. Go. And go. go. Ok, correcto. Have, do, and go. Have, iba, lo, y lo íbamos a convertir a? Has. Has. Okay, go. Goes. 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 Okay. And do? Goes. Goes. Does. 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 Okay. Does. Muy bien. Habían visto ya en los ejercicios anteriores go and do, ¿verdad? Que nos quedarían goes and does. Y el que no habíamos visto que sería have, que nos quedaría has. Estos son irregular porque no siguen bueno, go en do, sí, ¿verdad? Nos caben en la última regla cuando los verbos terminan en o. Pero en el caso de have, ese sí no sigue ninguna de, de las reglas, ¿verdad? Ya que cambia completamente la forma en la que se escribe. Entonces, por eso se le llama irregular, porque no, no aplica con ninguna de las reglas que, que se tienen. Eh, quiero ver 1.10. Um, sí, ya vamos a llegar por ahí al 1.10. Ok. So, here we have the next exercise, ok, which is 1.7. Okay, we're going to complete and select the correct verb. Okay, my parents have or have. has. Have. have. Have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad goes or go? Go. Go. Go, go downtown to work. My parents are very busy, so I do or does do do, 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 do a lot of work at home. Conversation two. My brother doesn't live with us. He, 
has has an apartment in the city. He goes or go. Goes. Goes to school all day. And he do or does. Does. He does his homework at night. Conversation three. Okay, I have or has. Have. have. Have a new friend. His name is Jason. We goes or go? Go. 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 go to the same school. And sometimes we do or does. Do. 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 do or homework together. Okay. Yes, they are correct. Okay, the next part that we need to practice is, well, here we have the questions, pero no hemos visto the negative statements. O sea, si vimos ayer los positives, vimos ya los ejemplos, pero antes de pasar a las preguntas, let's practice the negative statements. Ok, prácticamente va a tener la misma estructura, ¿verdad? Subject, verb, and complement. Pero vamos a agregar eh, <coughs> la relación o la parte eh, negativa de la oración. Que para este caso vamos a tener que también utilizar estos auxiliaries. Que serían do or does, dependiendo de los pronombres que vayamos a usar. Okay, do, como este, sabemos, lo vamos a utilizar con la mayoría de los pronombres, que sería I, you, we, they. It does, lo vamos a utilizar con he, she, and it. Aparte de el auxiliary, vamos a utilizar la negación not. Lo cual también lo podemos expresar de forma contractada. ¿Cómo, cómo sería la contracción de do not? Doesn't. Doesn't. Do not. Don't. 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 Muy bien. Don't. don't. Y de does not. Doesn't. 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 Okay. The does not sería doesn't. Y the do not sería don't. Ok, ¿está claro con los sujetos que los vamos a utilizar? Si se fijan, son los mismos. Tercera persona del singular. He, she, and it. Ok, con ellos vamos a utilizar el does. Does not. Or does. Ok, now, del mismo ejemplo que me hicieron en positivo, ahora me lo van a decir en negativo. Ok, the same example, but in negative. O si quieren hacer otro, sí. otro, no importa. Vamos a ver. Yes. Ahí está, ahí está. She doesn't marry tomorrow. She doesn't marry get, 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 get married tomorrow. Ah, okay. Okay. Algo que se me había olvidado mencionarles es que cuando vamos, cuando utilizamos un auxiliar, en este caso, como estamos utilizando do and does, no es necesario que nuestro verbo eh, se, se modifique cuando utilizamos la tercera persona del singular, sino que vamos a dejarlo siempre con su forma base. Entonces, aunque sea he, she, or it, como ya lleva el does, ya no es necesario que yo modifique el verbo, sino que lo voy a dejar eh, en su forma original o en su forma base. ¿Qué, María Evelyn? 
Um, Taria, she is not drinks water. She doesn't. Uh, she doesn't drink water. She doesn't drink water. Okay. Yes. Okay, more examples. She does not dance in the party. Okay, yes, Pamela, correct. She doesn't sit in the bar every night. Okay, she doesn't sing in the bar. Okay, every night. Excellent, Davis. Okay, more examples. She doesn't run in the park every day. Okay, great. Excellent, Mauricio. Okay, Erica, Allison. Yes, Anabel? He, he doesn't take a bath in the night. They don't like drink coffee in the morning. They don't like drink coffee in the morning. Excellent. Repeat, Eric, your sentence, please. He doesn't take a bath, the bath in the night. Okay. I don't see nothing. I don't see. See nothing. 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 Okay. Yes, Mario. She doesn't write the class on notebook. She doesn't write the class on her notebook. On her notebook. Remember your sentence. Okay. Okay. Karen. We don't take a shower. We don't take a shower because it's too cold today. It's raining today. Okay. More examples? Araceli, Margarita. Again, Davis, please. I don't take the bus. I don't take the bus every day. Karen? They, they doesn't play basketball. He doesn't play basketball, okay. He doesn't walk in the afternoon, okay. Only correct the word doesn't, okay, doesn't. Okay, Eric. Yeah, I don't do work tomorrow. I don't. I don't work, work tomorrow. Okay, I don't work. Aunque en este caso, como estamos hablando de tomorrow, es que no no sería presente simple, sino que sería futuro. Bueno. Okay, de, tendríamos que cambiar el, como the signal word. I don't work on weekends, for example. Que recuerden que usamos el simple present cuando estamos hablando de rutina. Ok. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Yes. El dozen es la abreviatura de do, de does not. Does not, yes. Ah. Ok. More questions? No. 
No question. No question. No questions. Ok. Muy bien, entonces aquí estaríamos cubriendo positive and negative statements. Ok. And now we can move to the, well, these are the irregular verbs que ya lo vimos. And ya hicimos los ejercicios. Then we have a conversation. I get up at noon. Okay, let's take a look. Hi, everyone. In this conversation, which illustrates how this... Eat at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in... Practice. Let's go to the... Can you listen? The park on Sunday. Okay, but... Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Which is heard a conversation. Okay. Questions? About vocabulary words? No? No question. Okay. So we are going to practice. Okay, two volunteers, please. Hi. Marvel and Valeluz. Gracias. 